I failed less, but I still failed. And the good thing about failing is that it gives you a chance to like kind of figure out where you failed. But yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time. And then after that, I'm never gonna do it again. But I still feel, I feel like no matter what, it's not very original looking. And that's why like Satan sees a baby. And that's why after I do this painting one more time, I think I'm gonna go completely in the direction of, um, yeah, I really blew it on the left side, didn't I? Uh, well, not, not completely, I mean, it doesn't matter. And it, what I was gonna say is, um, I have this list in front of me, it's like, why you're not crazy? Because when you were in college, you were studying escaped slaves turned cattle ranchers, and um, and you came up with the idea for Django and Chain. Yeah, the problem I have is that when I make a mistake, then I keep working on it, and I should have just quit, and then let it dry, and then come back and fixed it. But at least it's not as bad as my other one. My other one was just ugh, just a big blob of nastiness. Um, but I kind of blew it on the top part more than anything, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so I was going to say, did I consider myself CIA? Like always, pretty much. Yeah. Do I consider myself CIA? Yeah. So have I been working for free for the CIA for like 10 years? Um, yeah. So like when I was like, you guys should give me money that I have legally made. Should I have legally been making money from the government? Yes. All right. So, um, on the list of reasons I know I'm not crazy, um, like, you know, someone breaking my door handle, all that. I, I don't want to go through all those, all that list. Um, has anybody ever told me that I'm CIA and we are CIA? Yeah. Was it a government person? No. Um, was it a private sector person? Yeah. But were they like, you know, like an, like a, a, an engineer or a doctor or something like that? Yeah. They were like, um, he wasn't just saying it. I mean, we were having a conversation and he, it, we always have kind of vague conversations, but it was very clear that, so all I'm saying is when we're in this weird predicament where, um, so I, I read that the coronavirus trans transmitted to an animal and that's when I went and got a, tried to buy a face mask, but, um, I couldn't find one all day. I'm looking for a face mask after, well, I painted this and then I went looking for a face mask. I feel like it's got a, it, I've got, I've got a good direction that I'm going, I, but I, and I, I started painting really fast when I realized that I ruined it because I, I started off with a gray canvas because I copied the wrong person. Never copy the wrong person. With this, I started off with a white canvas because I was just painting without lessons. And then I started getting lessons and everyone was so good. And then I tried to copy him too much, which this was me trying to copy too much. And then this was me not watching a lesson at all. And I was like, I'm going to go do it my, on my own. Um, but I still blew it. I really didn't. I, I feel like I might be able to fix it after it dries but it's going to take a long time to dry all right but probably not really i don't think i can actually fix it i think it's done for anyways um so the reason i can sit around and like oh, i'm going to be a painter for a living which i've been thinking about it i want to get an art gallery and i just want to have a gallery and then i'll paint stuff like this except really big but not like this this is crap. I messed up. Like this is like a big blob of gush because, but because when I paint big, I take it more seriously. That's why this one's been sitting around drying. Um, granted I didn't take that other, my military one very seriously. This I didn't take seriously. I, I had to get it done cause I got to figure out how to do this crap. And then once I figure it out, I can do whatever I want. Anyways. So coronavirus, I, I found out it transmitted to an animal. So I was like, all right, that's a serious disease. Like how can you stop it? If it's like being trans, I mean, I guess you, I don't know, I guess, especially if people are transmitting it that aren't showing symptoms. And that's why I was like, I feel like I'm going to get the coronavirus 
and that but I'm young and healthy but my parents not as much can't believe that I started I what got into me where I decided to start this with a gray canvas because how are you supposed to do pointillism it's not pointillism it's staccato but how are you supposed to do staccato with a gray background it was like hell on earth that's why I just started just jabbing it and that that's but I think feel like that was a really good thing to do because it taught me that you you can just be messy in the beginning as long as you clean it up later on but you have to be really careful about how you're messy anyways so um Coronavirus, yeah. Uh, I feel like the the bad part about it is, oh, uh, pneumonia. This one's more sexual. That one I'm gonna make it more sexual next time. I'm gonna add the pink, but I'm gonna probably, I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna add a lot more, and I'm not gonna have all this dark space around it. But it's not awful. It's just not good. It's really not good at all. But if I make a mistake, I'm not gonna fix it right then. That's 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 my goal. If I with the next time I make one of these, because I want to make one good. Anyways, so the reason I can sit around painting is because I really did get told in my head that the market was about to crash. But apparently, the market didn't crash very much in, by comparison. But um, the problem is when um, certain investors pull back. And then people have to pull back from other areas and they pull back from other areas and then it causes a chain reaction. But um, we're not even in a bear market yet. And let's face it, the, 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 market's been, the, the stock market's been skyrocketing. So if we were in a bear market, we'd still be in good shape. I mean, not all of us would be in good shape. I saw like Ford is worth less than they were 10 years ago. Um, but f for the most part, the stock market would be in a good shape even if we lost 20% from the peak. But the, but uh, uh, I, I I mean I guess people can continue inflating things and then cutting backing off and inflating things and backing off. I don't know, but I do feel like at some point, um, how much can circumstances, um, how much can can the stock market predict twenty years in the future? Because um, that's kind of what the stock market predicts is like twenty years in the future. Like what what circumstances can change is going to change the real value. That's the confusing thing about the stock market. I, I have learned about it and it was like, every 10 years it goes up like 5% and that's just how it's always gone. And like that's what I learned in high school from a financial advisor. And I do understand that it always does go up because population growth, because um, new markets, um, that sort of thing. Because, uh, but um, I also think, man, it, the market sure has priced in um, a lot, hasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, so um, at least I was told about the market f sell off in advance. That was cool. And I did warn everyone, right? Um, but I, I was told like the day before also. Um, oh gosh, I really, really think that the next time I've got to get all this. This is the result of me trying to fix things that are wet. Ah. Uh, I gotta start being more patient.